One local family has taken their own heartbreaking experience and has turned it into something much, much brighter. 3 News Now reporter Ruth Olsenida has more on a company called Pink and Plaid, which was started to help put smiles on children's faces after one little girl couldn't find hers. Amanda Raynard's glass is always half full. Her positive outlook on life is infectious. <laughs> Yeah. She's the mother of two incredible children, eight-year-old Ava and 19-month-old Bennett. Yay. She has a full-time job and also runs a sleepover business where she decorates families' homes so they can have a birthday or slumber party the entire neighborhood will envy. We've had girls and boys as young as four all the way up to a 50th birthday party. So there's really been all sorts of ages and it's a lot of fun. The idea started with her daughter Ava, who for years couldn't go to any sleepovers or birthdays. In fact, she couldn't go anywhere at all. She couldn't do soccer, she couldn't be at school with her friends, and it was overnight all of it just had to stop. At four years old, Ava was diagnosed with leukemia and went through 800 days of intense chemotherapy and treatment. She couldn't really be out in public or be with people or be in crowded places, so we had to get really creative with how we celebrated and did things at home. And so Amanda got creative, really creative, and planned themed birthday sleepovers for Ava. Then she thought other families might like this now too, especially since in 2020, there was nowhere else to go for a birthday except your own home. That's how her business Pink and Plaid was born in October of last year. Now, two years after completing chemotherapy, Ava is helping her mom make other children happy as well. It's our family celebration all the time of the fact that she's alive and that she's healthy and that we get to do things like this. A family activity that has turned into a family business that celebrates life in more ways than one. Reporting in Gretna, Rudolf Sinaida, 3 News Now. To learn more about Ava's story and the nonprofit started in her name to help raise money for pediatric leukemia research, visit our website, 3newsnow.com.